Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be talking about Miles Beerman, what some fans think about Pedro Caiginha, and of course Jonathan Johansson's surprise number three appointment. Stay tuned. It's no secret that Miles Beerman has been thoroughly impressing fans. You can see it all over social media. But for me personally, the reason why he's impressed me is because he just doesn't seem to give up. He's shown that he can defend, he's shown that he can attack, he can pass a ball, he can dribble, he can run. Uh, I'm not comparing him by any means, but he sort of reminded me of Alan, Hatt Alan Hutton for one of his runs that eventually led up to Kenny Miller's first goal. He just ran past players and knew when to pass the ball, knew when to release it. And as the commentator said at the time, he could have shot, but he didn't. He doesn't have that selfish nature, which is good for a defender, particularly for one that likes to bomb up the wing, because then he can pass the ball and he can track back, which is what I was very impressed with Beerman for. His positional awareness seemed to be better than Tavernier, and Tavernier's a regular first-teamer. So, my overall opinion on Mars Beerman is that I think he's an exciting young prospect and I'd definitely like to see more of him in the team. But here's what your opinions are. I watched young Miles Beerman at Kelly away and I've got to say I was really, really impressed with the young boy's performance and the way he handled it. Um, he put 100% effort in, as he did against Aberdeen. Um, that great 60-yard run... Um, no goals conceded. I think this young boy is going to be something in the future. It's only been two games, but I already preferred Beerman over Wallace. Um, I'm hoping that these last couple of games um, will give him a bit more experience and a bit more of a feel uh, for what is expected, what's expected from him. Sorry, so I can see a long, strong future ahead for for Beerman at Ibrox. But now moving on to Pedro Cargiña, I think that his style of management is just a breath of fresh air. For Rangers and just what we needed when you compare it to the management style of Mark Warburton you know Mark Warburton was all about look we'll learn from this and, and we'll move on and we'll uh, improve next week but he never attacked the issue head on he never changed the team and we all know he didn't have a plan B but Cargenia he isn't even afraid to use the youths Miles Beerman and David Bates David Bates you know he's got a lot of improving to do but with a strong defender next to him I'm sure we will see a good defender and yes I do have faith in David Bates but Miles Beerman he's impressed me straight away uh, and that's obvious if you watch the first part of the video but I think Kaijini really impressed me for, well, he's impressed me a lot for something he's done this week. He said, if the players don't play well this Saturday, they will not be playing at all against Celtic. Now, to encourage the players to play for the jersey and to play at their best in order to guarantee a place in that team, that's just the motivation that this team has lacked throughout the whole season. And I think the more that Kaijini implements that sort of mindset, the better the team will be. And... As I stated, I think that that kind of thing is just what Rangers needed, and I am thoroughly impressed with Kaijinia. Now, the fact that some fans, after the Kilmarnock draw, said things like, look, Kaijinia, said things like, Kaijinia made the team play six days in a row, uh, and, you know, he's had a few weeks to change things about, and evidently it's not working, he needs to go. Believe it or not, a minority of fans did say that, and I was absolutely shocked. You cannot judge a manager based on you know, the crap that he's left with at the end of the season. He's not been given much time. And there's barely, there's barely many games left anyway. So what is it that you actually expect him to do in that case? I think the time that we can start judging him is when he brings in his own team next season. And that's... Um, I think that the only time that we can properly start to judge him is when he brings in his own team and the next season starts, which I am actually thoroughly excited for. But I do currently just want this season to end. So Kajinia's number three has now been announced. And it was, fair to say, it was a surprise announcement. It wasn't the likes of Barry Ferguson, Peter Lovenkrantz, Alex Ray, Bomber Brown and Graham Murty that the media would have made you think it was. It was actually Jonathan Johansson. Now, Jonathan Johansson played for us for three years and he gave us all when he played for us. But whether he knew Rangers as well as what Kajina was looking for, it's yet to be seen. Because he did play for us, yes, and he has been on co-commentary with Tom Miller for us, yes, that's true. But the way that Kaijinia worded what he was looking for, particularly the Rangers part, it was almost as if he was edging for like a, a club legend or a nine in a row winner or something like that. So it was a surprise uh, to me at least when Jonathan Johansson was announced. But it's yet to be seen whether that would be a good or bad appointment. Here's what you think on that. All right, um, I think it's a great appointment, uh, Jonathan Johansson, because it's like it's an up upcoming coach and he's got a lot of potential. Well, I think Jonathan Johansson's appointment is better than what Barry Ferguson would be because he knows Scottish football and he's had more coaching experience at a higher level. 
So that's why for me, he's probably a bit of pick than Super Barry. Hello everyone, this is CJ Novo992, and this is my channel. Um, just want to give my quick thoughts on the appointment. I'm just going to keep this really brief uh, for Ben and the Rangers fans channel. It's a bit of a weird one. He wanted to someone who knew the club inside out. So he picked someone that played for us 17 years ago for three seasons and it's never been back. Yeah, why not give it to Barry? That's it. That's my thoughts. Hopefully you enjoy it. Carry on, Ben. So a huge thank you to those of you who watched all the way through. If you'd like to follow us on Twitter, it's here, it's at All Things Jers, and uh, we're about to hit 1,700 followers and it would be brilliant if you could help us towards that. But above all, make sure you like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching.